Hey, you guys, this is Sharon, not Karen. Sorry about that. We got disconnected somehow. Um, like I was saying, I'm doing a cook Tuesday cooking. It's not Taco Tuesday, but it's cooking with, with Sharon, not Karen, y'all. So, like I said, I started the video, but somehow I got disconnected and all things. Um, like I said, this me this meal was a little bit more expensive, but I would say still, you know, four people could eat off of this meal. Um... I'm actually about to go home soon and um, so you know I try to cook for my mom before I go home and all the things at least cook for her um, I don't clean it up but at least I try to cook for her and if you guys let me the camera around I had got this and it the meat was a little bit expensive I guess because it's steak I guess it's round top round steak whatever butcher chop beef round or whatever and um and um you can still see see you can still see the spinach my mom loves spinach y'all so i'm cooking her some spinach the rice and um the yams okay so we know that the the steak was eight dollars we'll just say eight dollars but it was 801 and the spinach was like a dollar for the can of spinach and the rice was a dollar so we're getting up to ten dollars and the yams was uh, two dollars as well for a big can because last time I got a small can, and my mom she really enjoyed those yams, so I got her a bigger a bigger can which was like a dollar and ninety eight you know cents. So, so you're saying probably uh, what is that? So that's eight. We'll say ten. So about twelve dollars, and I would say a fan for this, you know, if you have small kids or even if you know. Or if you have have a elderly, you know, um, you know, family member then or disabled family do the the steak, and actually I boiled the steak for like an hour to two hours to make it tender. Um, I also put some tenderizer in it. You know, like I said, one day I'm gonna one of these cooking videos so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, so the the meat is actually tender, and then I just threw it in the oven to bake it just to make sure that it's done. Um, you know, you don't have to boil your meat. I just do it because, you know, my mom needs her meat to be very, very tender. But if you're just going to cook, cook it straight away, I would say maybe about an hour just in the oven or however you cook your steak. Um, yeah, so I would say uh, this meal is a, for a family of four and it's $12. So you're paying about $3 per, you know, serving for your... Like if you go to McDonald's or if you go to, you know, I'm not trying to call out any fast food but any fast food that you go to you're going to spend way over the amount of more than three dollars per meal because if you eat this you like to have a bread and butter because my mom's been liking bur can't even talk y'all bit bread bed bread and butter lately so if you make her some bread and butter and all the things you know she's going to you know you're going to be filled off of this or you know if you want to throw some biscuits in there and biscuits are like maybe three dollars per eight or you know or whatever depending on if you get store brand or the name brand or whatever but i usually shop you know doing the um the store brand you know because it is cheaper tastes the same to me anyway but some people are you know they want the things how they like them so everybody is different yes yeah, so i cooked her a meal before i left and you know so hopefully you guys i was told that they enjoy my uh shout out to tammy gail donna my cousin donna my sister-in-law tammy she says she enjoys my um my uh cooking videos on tuesday she looks forward to them what i'm gonna cook you know she wants to know but like i said it was the meat was expensive but i just went all out because again it's steak and even though it was steak you still got a meal for about twelve dollars and i'm pretty sure if you cut the steak up you know if you have small children you cut it up you can still have a big piece of steak or like for your husband because you know men and i'm not calling men out but uh, most men they eat a lot it doesn't matter if they're thick on the thick side or on the skinny side they still like to eat a lot i don't know why that is i guess i don't know but anyway so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know what my mom is going to be having for dinner tonight um if she likes that and you know make her some bread and butter um right now she's uh over there chilling and all the things and you know um 
I'm, you know, I'm gonna get her to maybe say hi to y'all really quickly because she's busy doing her and everything like that. And um, yeah, so let me see. There you go, you guys. You see, y'all catching her in. Uh, you catching her in the act, it's you guys. Bonnie, <laughs> Uh, Jamie McDonald's uh, lunch. Uh, lunch brunch. He's lunch brunch and about to take some medication. Yeah, Full so. Day. Hope he's all as well. Yeah, um. Hello, family, me too, family. Uh huh. Hi, everyone. Good day to you. Good night to you. I love y'all and take care. Bye bye. Okay, y'all heard it, funny not Connie, you guys, and um, yeah, I just wanted to, me personally, I wanted to shout out Jeebus and his family, um, just to let you know, you guys, we love you guys. Hopefully, you guys, uh, I will be able to meet uh, Jeebus in person one day, and you know, meet his little family because I think they're so cute as well. Um, so yeah, just to let you guys know, um, yeah, but anyway, so um. Hopefully you got, uh, let me see if I can, that's the rice, that's the yams, that's the spinach, that's the steak. So anyway, you, I would say $12, $12 for the whole meal. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know and all the things on top of all the things. Yes, I'm going home tonight. My sister's coming here to stay with my mom and I will be back here tomorrow evening. Um, yeah, so... Um, we, just to let you guys know a little bit more personal information about ourselves. Um, when I started these videos, you know, I was, you know, asking people, you know, if they could, you know, donate to my mom and all the things, um, you know, because we were trying to, you know, get her a hospital bed, you know, to low, cause when she, you know, gets out of the bed, it'll be lower for her. And the reason why I was asking for these donations, trust me, it wasn't for me, but the reason why I was asking for these donations is to get her the bed. Okay. So, because, you know, her insurance wasn't covering it, like I was telling y'all. But, um, you're probably thinking, okay, well, just go out and get a job and all the things on top of all the other things. But right now, um, just to let you guys know, like, on the flip side of that, um, you know, right now where I stay at is in a, in a townhome in, in uh, Springfield, Virginia, and it's a small place for, um, you know, us to stay because, you know, if we were to go to live, you know, move my mom in, we need an extra bedroom. Okay. So actually we rent right now. We don't own. Um, so now we're in the process of, um, you know, looking for a five bedroom, you know, somewhere around here in North Virginia or out in Prince William County. So if you guys, if you guys know of any places either in Northern Virginia or in um northern virginia or uh you know prince william county that is renting a home like anywhere from you know 2500 to 3000 yes that's a very small amount um or 30 up to 3200 um you know and you know we have been saving to rent a bigger home from you know a bigger home you know that's assess accessibility i guess you want to call it for my mom, you know, because she isn't a, you know, she does walk with a walker sometimes and that's in the house. But then when we take her out, we, you know, we use a, a portable transport wheelchair, you know, so we can get her in and get her out quickly, like to the doctor's offices and stuff. But yes, I'm running my mouth. But yes, um, if anyone knows of anybody that's renting a, a house, not a townhouse, we need an actual single family home or, you know, something near to that please feel free to let me know. You can let me know in the comments or anything like that. But I just wanted to let you guys know exactly what's going on. I'm Trust me, I'm not on here to, you know, ask for donations for myself or for my family or for my mom. And also, you know, we, we've been fighting tooth and nail, um, you know, with her insurance to try to cover her hospital bids, but it's still questionable. Now, if it is, you know, if they do, you know, you know, find it in their heart to pay for her hospital bid, then, you know, not saying that we won't do the YouTube channel or anything or ask for donations. Um, not saying we'll oh, ask for donations, but um, we we won't be asking for donations because we won't need them, you know. Um, you know, the donation is not going to be so we can, you know, get this fabulous house and all the things, 
but I just wanted to be honest with y'all. Um, so that's why I don't even really get on here and ask for donations anymore because, um, you know, hopefully, you know, her insurance will, you know, bend a little bit and pay for this hospital bed for her. Um, but yeah, like, you know, me wrapping on and all the things on my mouth and all this, but it wasn't even about that. But I just wanted to tell y'all, you know, it's, it's not for me, you know, or anything like that. It's not for my family. It's not for us to get rich. It was just to, you know, and that's why I don't even ask for donations anymore. But anyway, you guys, you know, have a great Tuesday. You know, I'm going to try to have a great Tuesday. I'm still out here when I, when we've been out, like I say, well, we're running errands. That's what we're actually doing. We're running out, looking at these different homes to see if, um, you know, if, you know, if we can find a bigger place for us, you know, and maybe, you know, I can take you guys along on my YouTube and then you guys, I don't want to be secretive about anything. You know, I'm kind of open about stuff, you know. Um, you know, and maybe you guys can say, you know, if, if y'all say y'all like the house, maybe y'all in the comments say, yes, yeah, Sharon, we, you know, we like this house to be, you know, it's a, a big enough house for you guys and all the things on top of all the things. Yes. Yeah, so just to let you guys know what's going on in our, you know, our family world, you know, everybody has their struggles. Everybody's going through things because it's, it's still COVID out there. And now there's another thing called the mon monkey pox. So please, you guys, when you go outside, you know, maybe, you know, a lot of people don't like to wear their mask or, you know, wear the gloves, but now it's getting back to that. Now it's getting cold. And now you got to think about the flu and all that. So please, if you can get vaccinated, I'm not, or I'm not pro or con to get vaccinated. It's your choice, but just be conscious and wear, and please wear your mask, please. And I'm not trying to do any controversial stuff, but just be mindful of the other people that might have cancer. Um, because I am a cancer survivor, you know, I had cancer about two, two months ago in my kidney. And, um, you know, like I said, I don't like to tell people my business, but then they, uh, found out that I have liver disease. So I don't, you know, I don't want to, you know, need a boohoo story or anything like that, but it is what it is out here. So just be mindful, you know, if you could, you know, start, you know, I'm not telling you guys what to do and I'm not trying to get any negative, you know, comments, but just be mindful or be mindful for your kids. Make sure that if you're not going to wear the gloves and you're not going to wear the mask, please, once you get in your car or in the bathroom, wash your hands, you know, um, you know, I'm a, a advocate about washing your hands, you know, touching stuff because they said if you get this monkey, monkey pox stuff, you can't even touch the people's clothes, you know, linen and all the things and, and everything like that. And, you know, like I said, again, the flu season is coming up. So just be mindful of the flu as well, you know. So, but yeah, so, you know, try to keep our families safe and healthy and, you know, you know, so that we can, you know, possibly live a long time, you know. But anyway, let me stop running my mouth, you guys. And y'all have a great Tuesday. And I just wanted to, I just wanted to vent to y'all just to let you know what's going on here at the uh, Sharon and Sharon not Karen household and the Bonnie not Connie household. What's going on? And I hope y'all, hopefully, y'all you know, like my meal, like share it, like share it, love it, like share it, and fingers, like share, love it and subscribe please subscribe anyway you guys you guys have a great day you know love you guys love my family shout out to uh tammy again my sister tammy of a sister tammy my sister-in-law tammy uh uh gail for winning that prize earlier this week and all the things my cousin donna my sister tina not bina donna not Rhonda, and also um jeebus and his family yes and all the things. Oh, yeah. And my cousin, Ronald. Ronald Lee. Love you, Ronald. Hopefully, you and Roger and Bookie are watching my videos. And your mom and, and my uh, beautiful Aunt Betty that's 83. Well, I think she'll be 83 this year. So, yes, you guys. Love you guys and all the things on top of all the other things. Oh, yeah. I forgot, y'all. One last thing. I forgot to shout out my three funny-looking kids and my three funny looking granddaughters they're funny looking the reason why they're funny looking because look at this face Ooh, ooh, y'all they funny looking like me but anyway you guys love you guys you guys have a great day i keep saying that 
not taco Tuesday, but cook yourself a good meal. Maybe a steak dinner uh, off of a budget. Okay, you guys. Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye.